Ever wished you had an invisible assistant that captures every meeting, every client insight while you actually focus on the meeting? This 28 gram gadget does exactly that. Not a memo records, live or on call with bone conducting precision transcribes in 58 languages and serves up bullet point summaries before you even leave the room. Welcome to the productivity on autopilot. In this video, we'll dissect how well this little device actually works and some of the shortfalls I found along the way. As a full disclosure, I love AI tools that make my life easier, especially on the business side. Things that take the busy work out of my daily schedule and allowing me to focus on what really matters, which is typically going surfing when it's pumping. But also the big picture stuff has always a place in the quiver of the apps or devices that I'm using. And this, at least on paper, should be exactly that. Nota is effectively your personal scribe. It's the PA that you can't afford that will be taking notes for you in the meetings, but it will also record phone calls by sitting just behind your phone attached to the MagSafe, which I wasn't really sure if it's gonna work that well with some of the scenarios, which I'll dive into a little bit later. But what I have to say that after 30 days, this came in handy way more times than I expected. Now we'll go into accuracy of those transcriptions a little bit later. One of the things you notice straight from the get-go is how ridiculously small this thing is, how thin it is. Even if you chuck it in in the wallet thing, it's a MagSafe wallet, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And by the way, this is not gonna fall out. It is a bit of a struggle to even... Uh, to pull it out of this little wallet. And obviously this comes in a box, so there are no extras to buy. And I know we can record these things on our smartphones as well. And even the failed Apple AI, which is really not an AI series, still absolutely utterly useless. However, the recording voice memos that you can transcribe later are absolute godsend, especially when I'm on the go and I really want to record a couple of thoughts, but I don't want to type them in. That thing comes in handy, then you can copy and paste into ChatGDP and Bob's your uncle. The problem with that is that you have to go in, open an app, and then go through all these steps. With this one, you just press a button and it starts recording. Press it again and it stops. And it sits behind your phone. You don't have to open anything. You can do this in your pocket, take the phone out and just start talking. The same goes for meetings. You don't have to fiddle with your phone. You can just tap it in, lay it on the table and just say that you're recording ideally because you really don't want to be that guy who's recording people secretly. However, with this thing, you can be that guy on the phone calls, especially when you're having a dispute long time ahead with one of the parking companies. And yes, you can do this natively on iPhone too. However, if you're doing this, this on iPhone, it announces the fact that you're recording the call. And yes, I do agree, you shouldn't be a creep and you shouldn't be recording without telling people on the other side that you are. However, in this case, that came in very handy because whenever I use the function on my phone, somehow the line was getting disconnected every single bloody time. With this, this saved my skin. There are two options for recording. If this little knob is pointing upwards, that's you recording the phone calls. If you're bringing it back down, that's it, recording your surroundings. Now, the way it records phone calls is through Something similar to bone conduction in your running headphones, like the shocks, for example, which means it kind of ignores all the noise and records just you and the person you're talking to. And that is getting synced directly with your phone. You don't really have to do anything. Just open the Nota app on your smartphone and jobs are good. There are a couple of things that are less than ideal, but I'll come back to them a bit later. When it comes to the accuracy of the transcript, it's really hit and miss. So what Nota says is that they achieved about 98 point something percent of accuracy in English and other 86 languages that they support. Now, they only support English US, which is slightly different to British English. And there are some words that basically sound the same, but they don't mean the same things. And I found it especially harder with my weird accent, but oh my God, when you're speaking to someone in an Indian call center, and this is not a dick at Indian call centers, but dudes, with your accents, there's some funny stuff happening in my transcripts later, which I'll show on the screen here, just like a few little things. And I understand it's never gonna get my surname, no matter if I'm trying to record this in Polish or English. It's impossible for a lot of Poles to actually <laughs> spell it properly in the first go. So kudos for even trying. But in most cases, it kind of makes logical flow. So even if it makes a mistake, 
it's kind of acceptable. I would say it's very close to what you get from Apple devices or any other AI currently in use. Regard for something is like the lowest possible legal duty, which is always trumped by other legal duties. Mm. So almost pointless, including that. Now, the other thing is if you're recording on your smartphone, typically it drains battery like crazy. This thing, on the other hand, can record for 36 hours or five hours straight. Now, I don't know if it's down to overheating over five hours. I can't see myself recording anything over five hours anyway. Now, standby time on this is about 10 days. So do make sure every time when you're going out, just click it once and see how much battery you've got left. Now, recharging this thing, it is a, a proprietary charger system. It magnetically attaches to here. It's not the end of the world, but I would love to see wireless charging on this because why not? And yeah, the noise reduction works in busy environments as well. I haven't found a situation or scenario I've been in where the recording was distorted or it picked up some voices in a cafe, for example, or when I was driving a car. It just did what it's supposed to do and what it says on the tin. The big reason for me to have devices like this around, whether it's just the phone or Nota, which I've been using and abusing pretty much since I got it, is the fact that I can focus on the meetings I'm having. Now, I do run a couple of businesses simultaneously and I do miss things. I've got fully certified ADHD and for me to focus on one thing is next to impossible. So any AI tool that helps me with menial tasks like taking the notes is more than welcome in my little world of gadgets. The important part here is that if I'm having a meeting with someone, I really don't want to look down and take notes because I'm not saying it's disrespectful, but I do lose whatever they're saying because I'm focusing on what I'm writing down, which might be just me problem, but it is problem for me. So this kind of solves it. But also with their AI app that you can just log in through your desktop, you can plug it in into your Microsoft Teams, you can plug it into Zoom, and obviously it comes in as a guest to these apps. So I always let everyone know, listen, guys, I will be using my note taker on this meeting. I hope no one minds. But that also means I'm not looking down. And typically when you do that on the screen, it kind of looks like you are playing with your phone rather than taking a note. Now, looking for Reddit, because I always do. I, whenever I've got a product, whenever I'm putting up a video, I just want to make sure I've addressed all the problems. And one thing that I have to agree with is the fact that you do need a subscription, like with any AI transcription tool. There is a free tier, but it's very limited and you do have to shell out about 15 to 17 bucks a month to have a reasonable amount of transcription minutes, depending on your usage. This might narrow the target audience for a device like that. If you're running a business, I think anything that saves you time is worth its weight in gold. Well, this doesn't weigh much, so that, that, that analogy doesn't work. But you know what I mean? That basically takes the busy work away and that's pretty valuable to me at least and it does it very well and because it can record both meetings online meetings all the phone calls I'm taking yeah I definitely see this as a business expense that kind of makes sense if you're a content creator and you want to capture your notes on the go this comes in very handy the same with their desktop app you can easily transcribe all the YouTube videos you're looking at if there's an inspiration for something then edit these and add your own notes the possibilities are endless the only thing I didn't really get are the mind maps I just have no idea how to use them maybe I'm just not the right audience for that there's one thing I'm not very fond of because it's so easy to start recording I had a 40 minute recording of me watching a movie with my missus um, that got fully transcribed and that used some of my minutes, well, all the minutes, the 40 minutes of transcription of something totally random. So there is no way, at least for now, to stop it from transcribing things. You can't just tick them off saying like, I want this recording to transcribe the other stuff. Uh, not really. I had a chat with Nota. Apparently they will introduce a solution to this. So that should be solved. The other thing mentioned on Reddit was a mem error on these things. Now, I had that as well in the very beginning, but then the firmware got updated, so that doesn't happen anymore. It was frustrating at the very beginning, and I wasn't really keen on, well, relying on this to start with, because you really don't want to have a mem error when you've got this one phone call that you really want to record. But it went away. Now, the other question was about privacy and data security, because let's be honest here, we're using these things like all the other AIs, sometimes for tasks that do require a little bit of secrecy. This, according to Nota's website, is one of the most secure devices you can get. It has plethora of certifications. It's got 256 bit encryption. So on the surface, this should be safe. As always with devices like that or anything you're sharing online, 
just proceed with caution. Now, the big question is whether this is worth buying. And as I've mentioned before, this totally depends A, on your workload, but also on how much time something like this could save you versus other solutions that are already available that might not require a subscription. To me, having a device that transcribes everything that's happening around me, every single meeting, that I don't have to open it up, I don't have to rely on battery life in my phone, that I can just press and record, is that important. For a content creator, this is a great solution, especially when you combine this with the AI software that you can use through the browser. And a good thing is that all your recordings are syncing through the cloud between your laptop your iPhone, iPod, Android devices, whatever that is that you're using. Everything can be copied and pasted to any other software, but also their AI platform integrates with things like Notion, if you're one of those people who use Notion. So, whether it's worth it, it's up to you, but if you have any questions about using this thing in real life scenarios, drop them below and I'll tell you all about it.